So I'm back looking and feeling like crap. Isn't that great? Yeah. Um, today was a little bit different instead of waking up and keep in mind that the first vlog went up on Saturday and it was filmed on Friday night so the days are a bit off in case you follow like Twitter and everything and see things being a bit inconsistent. That would be why. Um, but today my computer still works fine but instead I woke up like when I was waking up I was even like this, so I need to be avoid being like this, but I was like adjusting or something and just popped my neck really strange and oh it felt awful all day. I got we got this little heating neck buddy thing that you microwave and keep on it. I used that in the morning before I went to work. I took tons of ibuprofen, I took a hot shower. I took the edge off, but it still hurts. Hopefully it'll be better in the morning though. Stupid net. Um it's dead. <laughs> um, and then I get to, tomorrow's gonna actually be worse, because I have to get up and go to work at, I gotta be there from 10 to 6, so that means I gotta get up super early, without any extra sleeping time, so that's gonna be a huge pain in the butt. And yes, I'm laying down to do this, because I'm tired and I feel that bad. Um, this one's gonna be a bit shorter than the last time, I hope that's okay. If not, well, gotta deal with it anyway. I did shave. I finally shaved, I looked at myself in the vlog last time, and finally convinced myself to shave for the first time in like a month. And I got myself a couple new notebooks, and yes, they're pink, and the colors are stupid, and that one's hard to read. Um, but, I'm always writing in goofy little notepads for like, to-do lists, and things I need to do, and stuff like that. And these aren't gonna last very long, but I figured it doesn't hurt to have little positive messages in them. And yes, it's cheesy and silly, but just... Continuing to surround yourself with positivity and positive messages actually really helps make you a more positive person, believe it or not. So, I'm just I'm trying. They were like a dollar, so why not? Uh, tomorrow's Mother's Day, obviously, so I'm going to try to spend a little time with the mother, but then I have to get homework done. And yes, I have a summer, well, I have two summer classes. One is during the first summer session from like May till June. And then from June till August, I have a second one. The first one from May till June that I'm doing now is Art History Online. And typically that wouldn't be that hard of a class. Except the teacher seems to think that just because it's online means she gets to make it three times as difficult instead of making it easier, which people expect. In a way to not make it easier, she makes it like three times as hard. And so, like she sent out like five emails today. And classes don't even technically start till Tuesday. And she's already sending like five emails and there's an assignment due or an entire module of assignments to Wednesday. So we had to do pre-assessment, which is standard for classes. We have to do this little schedule thing saying what times we'll work on the class stuff, which is really fucking stupid. Um, but we got to fill out a whole calendar for the whole summer session. Um, and we have to make forum posts, which are even stupider. Well, no, that's not stupider, but also stupid. And there's um, a couple PowerPoints, and she checks to read if we've opened the textbook. She checks to see if we've opened the PowerPoints. Oh, my God. She is absurd. And, and sending email updates about every single thing. Um, and then there's, like, a lecture video, and then a quiz, and some other assignment. All for that due Wednesday. And between feeling like complete crap, between sick and ick and sleepy, and my neck breaking, and my computer exploding... And then working all weekend. I haven't had any time to work on it, so that sucks. I've been getting a couple edio, edio, <laughs> a couple videos edited that I didn't expect to. My new computer's handling it great now that, you know, it has a functioning solid state drive and a cooler that's actually keeping it cool. So, pretty good. While rendering, it stays at or under 60 Celsius, which is, it's not ideal. Ideal would be about 55 or to 50. Um, but it's ten times greater than it ever was on my air cooler, so don't know if that was on me or on the cooler just really wasn't good. I have no idea, but this one's working pretty good, and so I'm gonna definitely gonna get some Noctua fans on there to quiet it up because it gets really loud, and that's not gonna be good when I stream or record or anything. Um, but going well so far. I did. I I am gonna start editing these soon. Um, at the moment, they're just straight uploads from my phone, obviously. But I will start editing these a bit more as I get more time. 
because there's like, you know, I take goofy clips of storms or of my dog or things like that that I'd like to include if I talk about it as just kind of B-roll, and I can't do that for my phone. Um, so I may do that soon, but like, for example, I got a new collector's edition of the first ever Pokedex hard book, um, that came out, and so I'll show that off in the next video, I don't feel like getting up. So that was pretty cool. Um, got that in the mail finally, I ordered it off Amazon. But, no other updates other than that, so... Hope you enjoyed, and let me know what you, again, if you think about the, what you think about the vlogs in the comment section below. I will start cleaning these up a bit better and not be doing them for my bed in the future today. I just feel like death. And I will talk to y'all later. See you.